uncertainty budget calculation test type package for ProCal V5 allows the user to calculate an expanded uncertainty value for a given engineering unit and coverage factor expressed in the user selected number of significant figures. The user can manipulate component values, add components, or remove components from the list of values that are used to calculate the uncertainty. To set up the uncertainty test type package, open the instrument record and navigate to the calibration points tab. Enter all relevant calibration data and then enter a new calibration group. Select the uncertainty budget calculation test type package from the test type dropdown, then tab off the field. You will notice that the test point grid and certain fields are removed from the screen. This is because they are not applicable to this portion of the test. Next, choose a unit. This is the unit that will be used to express the uncertainty. You can also enter a range for this unit. To do this, click the Show Group Options button and enter data into the additional test type inputs grid. Choose a coverage factor from the drop-down list and enter the number of significant figures that you would like the final uncertainty to round to. Enter data into the Output Signal Setup section and then save the record. The uncertainty budget calculation will now be applied to the item during its calibration. Let's enter a calibration for this record. First, I'll enter the as found and as left values for our calibration. Then I'll move to the next group. When a calibrated item uses the uncertainty budget calculation test type, the uncertainty calculation appears as a test point group on the test results tab which the user will then populate with the relevant data. Notice that the test point grid is no longer displayed. The additional test type input section is populated with data from the master record. You can edit the data in this grid to use different values for this particular calibration record if you choose. Click the View Calculate button to start the calculation of your uncertainty budget. To begin calculating uncertainties on the uncertainty budget screen, the user must click the Add Component button. This will create modifiable grid columns under the Component Description, Uncertainty, and Distribution fields. As the user enters data into the grid columns, the data displayed in the uncertainty field is automatically calculated with the divisor associated with the selected distribution for that particular uncertainty component. The standard uncertainty for that component is displayed according to that calculation. The divisor and standard uncertainty grid fields are not modifiable as they are contingent on the data entered into other grid fields. Click the Apply button to save the changes. The calculation result of multiple different uncertainty components is shown in the Combined Standard Uncertainty field. Notice how this field changes with the addition of new components. The Coverage Factor field displays a multiplier of the Combined Standard Uncertainty in order to obtain the Expanded Uncertainty. The Expanded Uncertainty is automatically calculated using the Root Sum Square method against a list of Standard Uncertainty values as they are entered. The Coverage Factor and the number of significant figures used to round the Expanded Uncertainty are drawn from the additional Test Type Input section of the Calibrated Records Test Results tab. A component can be deleted by clicking the Remove Component button. Next, you will choose a calibration result. I'll select Pass and save the record. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to perform uncertainty budget calculations during a calibration using ProCal V5.